Okay, so today's topic is about renting a car in Europe. So we, I learned a few things today about renting a car in Europe. First of all, when you book a car, especially a luxury car, you may not get the car that you booked for. So for, on Enterprise Rent a Car, I booked for a Mercedes C-Class. And uh, when I showed up, guess what? They don't have Mercedes C-Class. And they said, well, it's equivalent, Mercedes C-Class or equivalent. So they offered. So pause. So yeah, basically when you book a car on actually any of the website, it actually says Mercedes, let's say if you book a Mercedes C-Class, it's, they go by the class. Yeah. They go by the class of the vehicle and not the vehicle itself. So let's say if you book a Mercedes C-Class, they will give you an They may give you something else. Yes. Very likely, especially if you're in France. They give you a French car. Majority car is a French. Yeah. They'll give you a DS or I believe the Salt. I forgot what the name yeah. is. So it's just a luxury brand of Citroën. Anyway, so be careful. Um, otherwise, you have to call ahead. Don't book online. But I should call the agent. Correct. And say, I want a Mercedes C-Class. Do you have yeah. it? I'll go to the branch itself. Yeah. But if you go to the branch, the price will be more expensive. At yeah. least, well, I would say at least... 15% more expensive than if you book online. Correct. Yes. The second part of this is when you book a car in Europe, unlike US, you will need to pay a security deposit or you need to pay a separate insurance, which is ridiculously expensive. The insurance on the C class was 35 euros a day. Obviously, no intelligent human being will pay that. But if you don't want to pay that, then the alternative for me was to pay 2,000 euros in security deposit so f if you do f if you don't if you know what i mean uh so for economy car generally it costs probably about 250 to 400 euros in security deposit um or you can pay the insurance separately which is much cheaper but you gotta choose either one either insurance or, or security deposit that price that's that cost is not included in your initial cost of booking the car. But do not, even though on the website it, said, it tells you, oh, your total cost is X, Y, and Z, that is not your total cost, trust me. There's another cost. So these two things, okay? One, you may very likely, especially in France, you will not get a Mercedes Benz if you book a Mercedes Benz. Although I don't mind this French car, actually it's quite pleasant. Um, the second is that you will either need to pay a separate up overpriced insurance or you will have to give fork out some money, significant amount of money if you book a luxury car, uh, in security deposit. Voila. Hey, not to forget that please check the location of the brunch because Mr. Lee here. Me. That's me. <laughs> Decided to choose uh, Garde Monpa as the pickup location. Not yeah. Garde Monpa as the pickup location. However, there is uh, two, of two of the Garde Monpa, and we ended up like what 35 uh, minutes Uber 40, 40 ride. Minute Uber ride. Uber ride away from the Paris city center. Another 37 euros gone. If you're on a budget, just uh, get an economy car and uh, book. Make sure you check where the pickup location Correct. is. Actually, within city center itself, if you if you choose, there are actually quite a few pickup locations. So what you can do alternatively is to call up the branch or just walk into the branch to talk to them about it. But you will have to pay a slightly higher price. Fifteen percent generally, yeah, more than if you book online. So, here are a few tips for you. Hope you, this will save you some headache and some money. Correct. Because we spend like what three hours back and forth. Yeah. Lesson learned. Yeah. Well, in the end, we got. It this, worked out. It worked out. <laughs> we still got a nicer car. Yeah. Because they didn't have the car. Well, that we actually paid more than we did on Mercedes. Benz 3C class yeah. for a basically mid tier French car. Peugeot, yeah. Uh, Peugeot 3008. Yeah. 
Well, uh, at this point, I don't care anymore. I just wanted to be in our next destination Lyon. as quickly as possible. Dijon. Dijon. We're gonna be going to Dijon. Anyway, that's why the French say yes. C'est la vie. C'est la vie. C'est la vie. C'est la vie. That's why I'm going to. All right. Goodbye.